So yeah, stomach bugs suck, uh, but I couldn't exactly uh, let this one go away because um, a lovely dude with an enclave, uh, like a legitimate advanced power armor uh, profile picture actually commented this in the last pitch meeting video and because it's the weekend and I don't really have anything else going at the moment and I'm not really up to snuff to actually sit down and do a review of the Samurai Edge that I was going to do I thought I'd kind of talk about this idea and you could probably read the title and you're thinking oh this is going to be bad this is going to be like everything else no not really um this is where I think a lot of people kind of don't realize that gate doesn't have to mean the anime or the manga or the light novel. In reality, the gate concept can be used for something else. So I'm using this guy. So the guy actually gave me this pitch and asked, how could it work? Three ways this could work. Oh, God, my eyes. Okay, so I'm just going to keep my eyes closed for a second because they do hurt a bit until they stop hurting. So, number one, depending on... Again, I can't see at the moment. So, number one is that... Let's, let's just go ahead and talk about Bioshock in a second. Bioshock is a wonderful series, wonderful storytelling, wonderful everything. It's just really good. So, my thing is that... Let's set up Rapture first. I'm going to do Rapture where it's like pre and post fall. Pre-Rapture is where it's like at the height of it. It's at a timeline to where it's like, you know, Rapture never really did fall and, you know, everything went smoothly. Ish. So let's go with that. Number two, the post-Rapture fall is where basically the events of the first game come about where it's like, you know, Ryan's alive, but he's trying to basically fix his, it, his city as best as humanly possible. So, that's that. Now, the other one is Columbia. Columbia is probably the most decisive one of all, especially considering that it's its own thing. It's a flying city, own timeline. So, that's where things can get rather interesting in itself. So, let's start with Rapture first. Rapture, we saw with the, uh, the the burial at C DLC that they did in fact have gates. You know, Doctor Su Chong had a experiment where he was opening up essentially a interdimensional gate or portal to where you know that sort of thing can happen. So, going with the gate concept, let's say that Doctor Su Chong's experiments pre Rapture fall opens up a gate in the middle of say. America, Japan, either and or in the modern day. Uh, and the people are curious. Dr. Su Chong is curious as to what exactly happened. He goes through and things kind of can go from there. You can do a lot of cool story ideas with that. You can bring in ethics into it where, you know, the government where Ryan's ideology is basically proven right with Rapture, and the people are seeing Ryan's ideology as well as Ayn Rand's ideology. Um, again, there's a lot of ways you can do that, or even have it to where uh, you can have it to where it's in our world where, you know, the Bioshock games are real, and it's like Andrew Ryan is seeing this and learns of a fate of an alternate self and sort of see uh, what happens to him and his city. Again, there's a lot of ways that can work out. Uh, let's go, and, and how you do the political intrigue and all that, as, as well as kind of help prevent the fall of Rapture is one that could definitely work. Now, let's go with the fall of Rapture. Let's say that Dr. Shu Chong is trying to open up a gate so he can escape Rapture, so he can survive Rapture, because maybe the Bathospheres are, you know, he can't get to them, he can't get to the surface. You know, Dr. Su Chong survives somehow. Or uh, Dr. Tannenbaum survives, and she finds Dr. Su Chong's work and tries to escape Rapture with all the little sisters she has because, you know, she can't get to the Bathospheres. Whether you set this in Bioshock 1 or 2 is completely up to you, and again, I, I completely, you know, it's up to you how you want to set it up. 
Now, again, this is how things can go very, very wrong and how one could actually have a lot of fun, especially with the combat situations and combat orientations. Let's say that the portal opens up, you know, Dr. Tannenbaum, not understanding Dr. Su Chong's work, opens up the portal, but the portal doesn't open up in where she is. It opens up in, uh, let's say, the pavilion or uh, Arcadia or one of the other districts where, uh, you know, there's a lot of splicers. That opens up, and let's, let's go ahead and go with an American city, you know, just because English would be a good thing for this. Let's open it up in New York City where... You know, or even better yet, open it up near the UN building where it opens up there and the splicers start freaking pouring out of the damn thing and all hell breaks loose, basically. Be the battle of the UN building or the battle of New York. Basically something along those lines where it's like, you know, they these things came out and basically the police are overwhelmed and, and it took the National Guard and as well as the other military forces that were stationed there to basically neutralize the threat. And, and go from there where it's like, you know, they're sending in essentially a U, a combined UN force through this portal and they discover Rapture. They send back live feeds, they start rescuing little sisters, they find out all the horrors and the ethics violations of Rapture. And they find the power struggle that's going on between Frank Fontaine and Andrew Ryan. Uh, maybe they come across Jack and kind of have to help him break the would you kindly ace in the whole command that he has. And again, it would be one of those things of, you know, Tannenbaum being a German, you know, maybe she comes across some German peacekeepers who are, uh, I say peacekeepers, but really they're UN soldiers. You get what I'm saying, though. She comes across them, starts speaking German to them, starts learning what's going on. And tells them that she wants to help the little ones. She wants to save the little ones. since she feels responsible for them. And a way, you know, after everything's said and done, she could probably... It'll be told that she may be brought up on charges for human rights violations and what she did. And you could have it to where a trial is held and that she basically says she is remorseful for what she did. But, you know, she was basically doing what she did during the war with the Germans in the camps. And basically, you know, you can have, you could do a lot of cool stuff with that idea right there and sort of have, play the remorseful German card where she hates what she's done through her life and wants to do something right. And even uh, makes a plea bargain where it's like, you know, she'll basically, all she wants to do is just save the little girls and reverse the process. Again, you can go with that story however you want. Finally, Columbia. Oh boy, Columbia. Columbia. Instead of the gate situation, which, yes, a gate can be used, have it to where the gate literally transports all of Columbia to the modern world. And they are discovered by the United States military, essentially, or at least discovered by a multinational force. And begin to literally send, you know, try and communicate with them. And when they couldn't get any communications with them, it's like, okay, you know, we're sending people up there. And so they begin, you know, mounting an invasion essentially into Colombia. And how you do that is however you want to do that. Basically, you know, they find out that this place has been stuck in an era where the civil rights never existed. And basically, again, however you do it, you do it. I mean, hell, you can have American forces literally saying that this is not American way. This is disgusting. This is un-American. And again, it's however you want to do it. Anyway, that's all I have, ladies and gentlemen. I want to hear from you guys in the comments section what you think of this idea and the fact of, you know, you don't have to do it like the anime or the manga. You could do it like this. And for those of the naysayers saying, oh no, you gotta do it like the anime and your manga, blah, blah, blah. I don't give a fuck. You do what you do and you be unoriginal. I literally present you Unoriginal ideas and original ideas and how it can work. Now, if you excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get off here and I'm going to get a nap. I'm going to try and feel better at least. And the reason I do this, even though I don't feel well, feeding the algorithm. Because if I don't feed the algorithm, YouTube will not be happy.
Until next time, ladies and gentlemen.